Hello, everybody. I'm back. I'm already connected to the controller. Like I showed you in the last video, you can see I'm in remote run. I'm in run mode. Controller OK. I.O. OK. So everything's green. We are now online with the controller. So now um, this is the L16ER controller. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add rungs, add some input and output devices and then also tag those devices to associate them with the appropriate switches or lights. So you've seen the L1 through L8 and the switch 1 through switch 8 in the last video on, on your controller tags. Let's pull that up real quick. Under local 1 inputs, under data, we have switch 1 through switch 8, which would be data 0 through 7. And then our local 1 outputs, we have light 1 through light 8, which is associated with addresses zero through seven. So remember, you give these a description based on what they are. Just by giving a description, it does not make it what it is. It's already got an address. You're just giving it the description. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and go back into our main routine. And to add a rung, we're gonna go up here to the top menu here. All these inputs and outputs are grayed out, but we have a rung here. We just click that, it'll add a rung there for us. So all I'm going to do is just do a quick, simple, one-rung little program here. So I'm just going to go over here to my XICs, which are also known as examine ons, and I'm going to drag it down here to my line, turns green, pop it on there. And then you can either drag it or you can just click the device. If this one's highlighted, it'll take it to the next spot. So I'm going to click on my output. I'm just going to put it right over here on the right side. Inputs will always be on the left. Outputs will always be on the right. Now, you can use output devices for input conditions for another um, output, but we'll get to that later. So if I want this uh, operation instruction, your input here, to be uh, switch one, I'm just going to double click on this question mark, click this drop down here, and now we have to find its address. So remember, your local one I is your input, your local one O is your outputs. Inputs are switches outputs or lights. So I want it to be switch one. So I'm going to click this drop down over here. And then remember, they're under data. That'll show the zero through seven. I'm going to click on data one time. And then this drop down arrow appears. To click this drop down arrow, now you can see zero through seven and eight through 15. We're focused on zero through seven. So if I want it to be switch one, I'm going to click data zero. Now notice how it assigned it. If I just click off of that, now that is switch one. Always, if you want to make this a device, you always focus on the address. You never mess with the description once it's already assigned. So over here on our outputs, I want this to be light one. So I'm going to double click on this question mark. Now I'm looking for outputs because light is an output. So I'm going to go to my local one O's for outputs expand that. Now we have data, just like the other one. Just click on the word data, click the drop down arrow, and it's going to be light one, which is data zero on our outputs. Now you see light one. So anytime we get done here, we're just going to finalize our edits because it won't do anything while these little lines are over here showing that this line's actively being edited. You just finalize your edits by clicking this green arrow, finalize your edits, You'll get this prompt down here that'll show errors or warnings. You can close that. Now in my program, switch one will turn on light one if it's energized. So now I'm going to turn on switch one. Now look, light one is now energized. If you could see the control panel next to me, you would see switch one is on and light one is also on corresponding to the existing program run. So say I wanted to go ahead and add another rung in here. I would just go up to click rung and now these these are not grayed out again. So now I have to, now you cannot finalize this program if there's an active rung that's being edited. You would have to delete this to finalize. But I'm going to go ahead and add another XIC and another output energized. And I'm going to make this switch to and make this light to. So remember, click the question mark, drop down. For switches, I'm going to go to inputs, data, drop down one will be switch two see and over here i want this to be light two so i'm going to go to outputs because it's a light click on data drop down 
like one, or data one will be like two. Click off of it. Now I can finalize my edits. Now it won't do anything. Switch two will still come on in the program, but notice like two will not come on. It's because the line's still being edited. It hasn't finalized yet. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. If I hit finalize edits, zero errors, zero warnings. What is that? Now switch two will now energize light two if it's on. Turn off light one, turn off light two. So I just anytime you turn the switch on, it will turn on the lights. That's how this program works. Now I've done XICs and outputs. Just to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to show you guys how to change this to an XIO and then change this one also to switch one. Quick way to do that is you double click on the line to make any edits. Now it'll show this duplicate down here, but this one is just going to be a reject. Once you finalize, this will go away. It's just showing you what you had on the line before. You can actually click on the address. Don't click on the description or the device, the address. Click, hold, and drag down here until it's highlighted and let go, and now it copied the data to it. And then if you want to change the device, you double click on the device, and now I can just change the C to an O, make it an XIO, and then finalize my edits. So in a PLC, you can make switches do multiple things. So notice how light two is on. Switch one is de-energized up here, but it's energized down here. Like in electrical circuits or basic electricity, an XIC acts like a normally open switch, and an XIO acts like a normally closed. So if I turn on switch one, it de-energizes your XIO and energizes your XIC and turns on light one. And then if I turn it back off, it energizes your XIO down here and turns on light two. So switch one actually controls both lights. And if you can see the IO interface that I'm flipping the switch on, you'd see the lights switching back and forth just like they are in the program. You can make several different things happen with only minimal amounts of inputs and outputs, but this is just one way to show you that switch one can be used for two different purposes to control two different outputs. Hope this has been helpful, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.